Sir Plus. I want you to put a plus in your mind because we're going to recognize Dr. Andy Westmoreland, and he and I are going to have an uncharacteristic, unplanned, unvetted, unrealistic. <coughs> no, 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 no. You got to come up here. I've already announced you. I've called you out. <coughs> Before we have our actual State Board of Missions presentation related to the budget and the like, I want to thank Dr. Westmoreland because he has helped us in terms of our being able to move to an equitable distribution with the cooperative program giving with our Southern Baptist Convention family. And he has also volunteered, and I, I do mean this, volunteered to help in some other ways as we accelerate that and emphasize that in the future. And that's your segue to tell us what we talked about. And I'll take the microphone because uh, I know that if you hold it down so low that I can speak into it, it would cramp your arm. I know that, <laughs> Dr. Lentz. And I will also say that uh, purposefully, uh, I have not tried to rehearse everything I'm about to say this afternoon because I want to try to speak to you directly from my heart. And this is not the easiest thing for me to talk about, but um, I want to try to talk for just a couple of minutes this afternoon and explain something, and then also explain maybe what it does mean and what it doesn't mean. We come to this meeting every year, other meetings like this, and we celebrate the great work that God is doing through all of these lives, and we've heard wonderful stories here just over the last few minutes, compelling stories about what's happening in individual churches and then what's happening through gifts that come through the cooperative program that bless people near and far. We celebrate all of that and we are all grateful for all of it. And then we come to the hard reality that our gifts are not keeping up, that it's hard to make the state convention budget every year. I see this, you see it as well. And as Dr. Lance said, he didn't come to me and say, Andy, let's talk. It was none of that. No one came to me and said, you've got to do this or else. But as president of Sanford, I have to look at the same set of facts that you look at as you examine the budget. And I see the needs. We all see the needs. And I would say that while all of our ministries across the board have equal value, I have to admit, as President of Sanford, that all of our ministries do not have equal access to resources. I understand that. And so I can't, in good faith, look at this picture and leave these meetings year after year and say, well, we got ours, so the world's okay. I can't do that. I have agreed with Dr. Lance, and this is not something that you need to vote on. It'll be picked up at a future point as budgets develop. But I have agreed, and the executive committee of my board of trustees has agreed, that over a period of years, five, six, seven years, that Sanford will act unilaterally to reduce our allocation through the cooperative program by about half. In round numbers, that's about $2 million over that period of time. In round numbers, it will be somewhere between three and $400,000 a year less going forward. It's important to us to be able to plan realistically in agreement without theater involved, just looking at the numbers, putting those in the budget, making sense of all of that going forward, rather than to sit back and wait for some kind of calamitous event to occur. I'm reminded of a, of a story that 
is credited to Lincoln, where when he had two young boys and he was walking down the street in Springfield, Illinois with his boys, and both of them were crying, a fellow stopped him and said, Mr. Lincoln, why are your two boys crying? And he said, well, I have three walnuts, and each boy wants two. We have more important things to do in Alabama Baptist life than to get to a point where we worry and we fight over who gets the walnuts. And so I'm saying now that we want to be a part of being ahead of all of this. And we want to help. That is not to say that we do not have our needs. And this is a step of faith that in some measure God will help us to replenish that that we are relinquishing. Because I can tell you that I deal with plenty of families who feel the pain every year of trying to pay for their sons and daughters to attend the institution where I serve. I said in the food court at our university center three weeks ago with a mother and father and their son. And it was a gap of $1,583 for the semester. And they had not a clue where that could come from. By the grace of God, we're working with them, gifts from others. We'll help them get across the finish line by the end of the semester. But it's real. It's real in their lives. And so in no way am I saying just go on and don't worry about Sanford. We're going to be fine. I think that Sanford will be fine. But it's because I have faith in God that Sanford will be fine. So, Dr. Lance, I want you to know that you have friends at Sanford University, people who are committed to this work, people who will be committed regardless of the money. We love you, and we love Alabama Baptist, and thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That is a statesmanlike servanthood kind of illustration of what it really means to be a partner in ministry. Thank you very much.